on today's episode of the Toy Chasers. I'm gonna get a Terra drone for free. It's freaking awesome. I don't think this is some type of Mandela effect. I'm actually considering it. Well, I don't know if I want to spend twenty dollars. That's too much. I was hoping to get the stuff for forty, fifty. Yeah, because if I leave and like I'll think about it, somebody's gonna get that. You wait till I see you again. You're dead. Eyes of a hot chump. No. Saying freaking toys are expensive right now, it's ridiculous. It doesn't even matter what type of, you know, off the wall bullcrap toy line from the 80s, it, they're all pricey now, it's ridiculous. So we are at a local G.I. Joe convention that is held every year in the area. And uh, this is one of our favorites to go to because we always really get good stuff at good prices and, and it's a, a smaller one that's always fun. <laughs> Uh, this this is the that's the bumblebee to get right there the pretender bumblebee it's the best looking vintage bumblebee oh, it's a crap. not him the actual bumblebee oh, okay. so it is just Billy and I today we are here and we're meeting up with a friend of mine Jason Brown that I, that I worked with for about a decade somebody is missing in this equation uh, intentionally actually there was a toy show and he didn't tell us no he told me. <laughs> yeah, that's the, the 3D printed stuff, right? Yeah. You looking for Terradrome parts? Yeah, you're looking for Terradrome parts. Why do you need Terradrome parts? Uh, because I'm getting a Terradrome. Milmore's only friend is here uh, and is apparently giving him a Terradrome, uh, which he apparently found on the side of the road. Uh, in someone's trash. Uh, Jason texts me out of the blue and says, hey, I'm getting rid of the Terradrome. I'm gonna sell it if, if you don't want it. I'm like, all right, I'll take it though, you know? This is Jay's, right now, most wanted playset. He still does not have this thing. I was like, hey, I'm gonna call Jay. And he was like, don't, don't do it. And I'm like, why? And he's like, good Terradrome. And I'm like, so what do you think he's gonna do? Bully it out of you? So he intentionally, didn't tell me about the toy show. Yeah, he called me up. He was like, hey, don't tell Jay. Dude, you're dead. Here's the thing is I'd rather him give it to me because if he does end up changing his mind, he can get it back. If he sells it to somebody, it's gone forever. It is going to be gifted to Milver the Great and not Shady Jay. Um, could potentially cause some issues that I'm really not in the mood to deal with. I really don't know how he's going to take this. At the end of the day, do I care? Not really, because I get to go to a toy show. <laughs> My baby, what do you think? I'm, what do you, What do you think I'm going to do? Protest? And if he if he were to sell it, I'd strangle him because that find was just too amazing. You know. <laughs> The way the way the way it turned out, like it's it's hilarious, but it's the type of thing that you could only dream of. <laughs> you you are dead. You're dead meat, buddy. What do you find in here? Uh, there are parts. There's some loose parts to the terror drum because it is missing a lot of the loose parts. The terror drum that he's given me is not complete. Uh, it is missing a ton of parts. He finds a vendor that has a big tub of a lot of the parts needed. Uh, for the Terradrome that he has. Yeah, I think you need like two of those. So, as you need? Like that, that gun, that red gun, those go on this, on that door, but I put one together, there was two pieces to it. Eyes of a hot chump. <laughs> what? Oh, this is driving me crazy. What's this yeah, you need those. I put one up there already. Not only is this asshole getting a free Terradrome. He's finding the parts for it just randomly in a box for absolutely no reason. They got a ton of the dome parts and none of these are broken. These all have the, um, I'm really actually surprised that we're finding the exact stuff we need this fast. Oh, here's the dome for it. Oh, here's a gun. Ooh, a seat. See that little base, right? That little Cobra bunker, I think. Thing. I mean, here's some other guns. You, know, you could probably look and see which one's the best. 
many, how many need, are I need to. Well, I need that part. I need two of those and whatnot. And I'm just grabbing parts. I'm adding it up in my head and I'm like, well, he's pulling out $200 worth of stuff. Uh, so, hey, Jason, you said none of the doors, right? Right here, mama. Dude, this is freaking amazing. These parts usually aren't that cheap. This is the kind of crap that if, you, if you're getting this stuff on eBay, it gets expensive really fast. You're gonna get nickel and dime to death. You said make an offer, but what, do, what, are you, what are you looking at? The vendor basically says, hey, throw me a number. I, I really don't like that um, because I've, I've gotten this bad habit uh, from Jay of, of wanting to lowball people now, which I didn't used to do before. Cause, cause, cause my offer is probably gonna be sold. What's your offer? So I, I lowball 20 bucks. Okay. Yeah? Okay. All right. <laughs> 20. <laughs> I, I, I appreciate that. That's awesome. Thank you. Son of a gun. I should have started off at $10. I bet I could have gotten the stuff for $10 the way he, as fast as he said, yeah, all right, that's cool. How, how are you this lucky? That being said, I'm more than happy with paying 20 bucks for the slot of parts that I need for, for the freaking Terror Drone. You know, you can't beat that. I was hoping to get the stuff for 40 50 So that is awesome. Thanks so much. Ah, ah, ah. Ah. You wait till I see you again, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs>
One of the things I'm noticing is there's not a lot of prices on stock. I prefer that. I prefer to see prices. That way I'm not wasting anybody's time. Oh, how much is this? And then it's completely out of my range, you know? The reason why you want to see prices on the actual products is because uh, you don't want to ask because when you ask, then they're going to see the disappointment in your face. And then when you turn around, you're going to look like an idiot with no money, as opposed to like, if you just like glance at a price tag, they're not going to know. You could just be walking off because you just don't like the toy. I got a hair that keeps, that keeps, and I don't know where it's, some turtle accessories see this is two bucks I'm gonna it's a challenge see if I can't repair it um, never mess with the repairing the turtles so that's gonna it's gonna be a new one we're at a vendor here who has a bunch of Kinder Star Wars Kinder Star Wars the prices have just gotten so stupid recently that it's not cool it's not cool trying to collect for this line anymore uh, the Anakin Anakin it's old Anakin it's it's deleted scene Anakin <laughs> I do stumble upon an Anakin Skywalker. Some of you actually might be surprised that I don't have this in my collection. This isn't a popular character, but I think what intrigued me about it was the fact that there was a lot of unknown about the character. We didn't really know a whole lot about Vader before he was Vader. It wasn't like everyone went to the schoolyard and was like, man, did you get Anakin? 35. Oh yeah, I just took off the 35? I, 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 I'll do 35. As a kid, I really wanted this figure. I remember seeing a commercial on TV. Uh, it was a mail-in and I remember the commercial talking about it and for whatever reason, I really was intrigued by this figure. And I remember I asked my mom, hey, can we order that? And I must have caught her in a bat at a bad time time because um, she she snapped at me. She says, No! You want a bag? Yes, please. Oh, you know what? This is yours too, right? Yes. Okay. I will take these guys as well. Okay. Why don't we just say an even 40? Sounds good to me. Does that work? That, Appreciate that's great. you. The funny thing is, actually, is I just within the last couple of months, I just found out that apparently that commercial that I have crystal clear memories of, uh, 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 there, it's, yeah. it's, it's in dispute whether it exists because or not. I, I was trying to find it and I couldn't find it. The weird thing about this commercial is I distinctly remember it because it was, it was the first time I'd heard about the character and I really wanted it and my mom's just just um, completely unnecessary reaction to my uh, incredibly reasonable request. No! I don't see that around. Like, is, is that anywhere on the... No, it's, it doesn't exist. I'm not the only one though. A lot of people remember this. Nick, Nick from Echo Base Network, remembers seeing this commercial. Allegedly. I don't think this is some type of Mandela effect. Allegedly. I got Dave from Dave Archives looking for it. I sent him a message. Allegedly. And that was a nerd! Is that actor's name Sebastian Polizar? Yeah. This is this is old man Anakin. Nobody really wants old man Anakin, except this is one of the last 17 figures. Looking at this Anakin figure right now, like it looks fine. This is finally going to kind of heal that injury to my heart as a kid from being denied that figure by my mother. No! So this this is this is going to be a, a good balm for my soul. <laughs> Sound like the Dunga right now, just literally full of crap. Have you seen have you seen how much a freaking X-Wing goes for? You gotta be kidding me. Well, let's have those for 200. Oh, and everything is like 30-40 bucks with nothing on it. Shell? Just the shell, yeah. If there's something about Star Wars vehicle boxes that just, they're dry. They're just, they're just awesome.
These weren't uh, in America, so I've never seen these before. Holy moly, actually. This is really cool. I run across a stack of UK Transformers comics, and I don't have any of these. These are the type of things I've not actually ever had the chance to kind of finger through. <laughs> five um, so four dollars instead of five a piece so basically I'm getting an extra one Why you get them? because um, we didn't get these here and the covers look fantastic one of the great things about coming to one of these shows is uh, sometimes you see something that jogs your memory you hadn't thought about in like 30 40 actually it's been 40 years at this point damn. I had a G.I. Joe themed birthday one year. I don't remember what year it was, but in the 80s at some point I had a G.I. Joe birthday. And I, there's all this stuff right here is just jogging my memory. I'm not gonna spend $50 on it, but it's still pretty cool. Twelve bucks would be the best I could do. All right, I'm gonna get that. I missed that in the stores and it made me angry. <laughs> I got a collection of Sharpicons and I wanted those three guys. I didn't care for the, the main figure. Heck, you can have that main figure. I just want those Sharpicons, yeah. This was, I saw this at Target and I was like, ah, oh, I'll get it next time. Didn't happen. Uh, there's something that I missed out on back in the day. And it's probably one of those situations where it's way, way, way more than what I could have got it for a couple years ago. So I'm gonna go see. I, ha I have this bad habit, newer toys. And I'll, I'll think to myself, you know what? That's awesome. I really want to get that. Don't want to spend 50, 40, 25, $30 right now. I'll wait until later to get it. And then like a month will be passed and I'll be like, you know what? Let me go get that thing that's, oh, wait, you can't find it anymore. Let me go look on eBay, and it's like five times the price now. There's one thing that I did pass on uh, when they originally came out, and that was the Trick or Treat Studios uh, Mogwai figures. I saw these online. Uh, Trick or Treat is coming out with Ghoulies this year. The, the price is way more than what they originally were going for, but I'm looking at these things, and I'm like, man, they're, they're not, they're okay, but like, and they're not really worth like $80, what they're asking for. So, so far, this has been a pretty good uh, convention. I've, I've gotten a vehicle that I, I need. Like, there are several vehicles uh, in the G.I. Joe line that I still don't have that I really would love to pick up if I can find, and the Mumbo was one of them. I'm also seeing this Pocket Patrol. But I remember having this, and so what you would do is you'd put figures in it. You'd strap it to your belt, and then, uh, yeah, you look, you look like, you know, a real, badass in the neighborhood because you were walking around with a bunch of G.I. Joes around your waist and the other kids weren't. I could have seen stupid Billy as a kid thinking he's, you know, he's all tough. Like he's, he's Rambo walking down the street with that thing on his hip and all the other kids are like, what a dweeb, man. This pocket patrol thing is, is really cool and I've never seen it actually in the package like this before. So this is a very unique find and it's only $20. And a cantina too. I don't remember if the cantina actually put on your belt. Oh, I don't know if I want to spend $20. That's too much. But this right here is another one that I need. The Sea Ray. Really, really cool vehicle because it was aquatic as well. It's another one of those vehicles that's very sci-fi, it's not based on reality, and so uh, it's, it's, it's a very unique ve vehicle, and it was something that I really, really liked. Nobody beats the Azure! But now Cobra's got the Sea Ray. 
Incredible Sea Ray splits to become a mini sub and an armored glider. Oh, it's tempting. It's something I don't have, and it's something I've always been looking for, and I, I never see it out and about, but it's also $20 as well. And I don't really feel like spending $40 right now to get both of these things. The Pocket Patrol is something you never see, but the Sea Ray is something I want a little bit more. I think I'm gonna go with the Sea Ray. This is another one of those instances where one of us just goes stupid, and this time it is Billy. I got the see right. Okay. He's gonna pass on this, and he knows he shouldn't pass on this, but he's passing anyways, and he's gonna regret this later. You know what? I'm gonna get this for you. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna wait, get this for you. Wait. Oh, you're getting it? Yeah. Oh, okay. And Melvor saves a day again. This is just like stupid Jay with the blue snaggletooth. He was gonna pass on that dude. He would have never heard the end of that one. Wait, you know, yeah, it's not <laughs> really good. <laughs> Giving him you nothing. Be, well, you're, you're being nice. You're being nice to me. I yes, yes, because this is this is the type of thing it. that I appreciate also. I, I appreciate Melvor getting me the pocket patrol. I mean, it's really really cool. I I, I was a, it was a very hard decision to make to try to figure out which one I want one of these I wanted to get and. The fact that I get to walk home with both of them is definitely a bonus. It's on card, it's 20 bucks, you should have got it, and he would regret it. And I probably should have just, just let him regret it. Um, but I don't, I get it. I know you like this type of stuff, so uh, it is my good deed for the year, for you, so, for the year, yeah. Billy ruled his street with his pocket patrol, patrolling the neighborhood from the evil forces of Cobra. I'm gonna get a Terra drone for free. It's freaking awesome. And uh, Jay's not, so that makes it even sweeter. Is that why you didn't invite him? That's exactly why I didn't invite him. Because he'd be all, he'd be all angry, but he'd, he'd play it off, he'd be like, I don't care, I don't care. But he would care, and he's gonna care. He's not gonna be happy about this. You're dead. Ah, oh, that's freaking awesome. Deep in the jungle you discover it, the Cobra Terradrome with gun emplacements almost everywhere and special base for refueling vehicles. There it is! The Cobra Terradrome is really incredible. That's Dr. Mindbender. And now look, they've captured Flynn. It's time to warn the Joes, but suddenly they launch the fire bat. Ah, the chain's still there and everything. It still works great. Yeah, it just needs a good scrubbing, a little retro bright. I was more the Transformers fan, but I did I did play G.I. Joe's. I did appreciate it. It was fun. That was our go-to outside playing experience for the most part was usually G.I. Joe. And that Terror Drone was just something else. Jay actually had this thing growing up, and it was just an amazing playset. Like I loved the thing. I had so much fun as as a Mainly a Transformers fan, I had a ton of fun. Uh, so I have fun memories of the Terradrome. I know Jay does, and I know Jay really wants to get one again. I've not actually seen this thing up close and, and messed around with it since the 80s, since we were kids, since we had one. So oh, wait, you, we? So it wasn't Jay, it was we? Well, I mean, it was, a, it was, it was, it was him. Okay, it was him, but we all played with it. So, I mean, there were, there, there's a community ownership to a certain extent, but yes, actually, technically it was his. I think it was a birthday present. And I was a nerd! Look, I don't even have a big affinity for the Terra Drone. That's not a that's not a vehicle or a fortress that I had as a kid. It's a cool toy. Like I, I look at it now and it's just really it's, it's awesome. Like I, I think it would be a cool thing to have. I just don't have a thing for it. I can't wrap my head around why he's getting rid of this thing because it's probably like, it's one of those finds that just doesn't happen. So I was going to work and I was just driving and I found this road and I was like, I looked to the right and was like, no, there's no way. Did I just see what I thought I saw? And I looked in the rear view mirror and boy, did I turn around so quick, went and parked. I was shaking when I was like, oh my gosh, who would just throw this away? It was just on the, yeah, in their trash pile on the... So why are you giving it to him? <laughs> I don't know. How often are you just driving down the road 
and you look over and you see a vintage 80s amazing playset just sitting on the curb. It doesn't happen. It doesn't happen anymore. I don't have room for it and selling it would probably be a hassle for me. This by far was one of the best uh, play sets from the 80s for many decade, honestly. And it was rescued from the dustbins of obscurity and now it's uh, been restored to its former glory almost. I've never owned a Terradrome. So, so the fact that I can say, you know, I have a Terradrome and Jay does not, uh, it sounds pretty good. I, I like the sound of that. You're dead. <laughs> and he's bringing it to the convention to give to me. Um, and that's kind of why I don't want Jay here because I don't want, I don't want, uh, I don't want a scene. Jay, Jay could, you know, he could turn into a little baby and you know, start crying and accidentally poop his pants. And I mean, where do we go from there? That'd be a little awkward and I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk it, okay?